Lujain al Haklul had been a prominent activist for years, demanding more rights for women in Saudi Arabia. The UN and rights groups have been demanding her release from a Saudi prison. She'd been arrested in 2018 with other activists. But instead, Saudi media are reporting that a court sentence had Lul to five years and eight months in prison. She was found guilty on charges including agitating for change and mounting a campaign against the Saudi royal family. She had campaigned against a ban on women driving, a ban that was lifted the same year. But the kingdom continues to deny that she was arrested for this reason. Her brother says her family will appeal the verdict. It's showing that there is no way we can get justice from, from a sham trial, if we can put it that way. Um, it can clearly show that the, the, the court in the trial uh, from day one has been politically motivated. The Saudi court suspended two years and ten months of her sentence, and many say this could have been to avoid a confrontation with U.S. President-elect Joe Biden. He'd been openly critical of the kingdom's human rights records, and the transition's team security advisor tweeted the sentencing was unjust and troubling. The judge's verdict today uh, gave her credit for time already served, um, and so if you do all the math, um, there's a good chance that she might be out um, um, uh, out of prison in about uh, two months. And that, that's not a coincidence because I think the incoming Biden administration really is weighing heavily on the decision of the Saudi authorities on this topic. Hatlul's family says last year Saudi authorities offered to release her, but only if she gave testimony denying that she'd been tortured and sexually harassed. The Saudi courts say there was no evidence of this. The family say the torture was designed as a brutal way to break her, but she won't be broken. Laura Bodomani, Al Jazeera.